Good morning, everybody. So it's the first full day of the Christmas holidays, and I'm going to do a little vlog today of everything that we do in the day. Well, maybe not everything, but a few bits. So I've come in here. I'll be honest with you, I didn't open the curtains first thing this morning. As you can see, it is light outside. When we wake up at seven o'clock, it's still dark. So I waited till it was light, opened the curtains. Uh, Devon's got a bit lazy recently. She keeps dumping things on her bedside table. She's not making her bed. So I'm going to sort that out this holidays, get her back on track. She's taking her inhaler. We take two puffs in the morning and two puffs at night. So I've just put the inhaler away and I am just putting the cushions and things on her bed. As you can see, the bedding's a bit crinkled. She's been restless and I didn't iron it. I'll be honest with you. I'm not one of those people that likes to iron bedding. Normally, if I put it in the tumble dryer, it comes out fairly nice. This obviously um, is not so great. It's been a week. I need to change it tomorrow, really. So let's see if I can get that done tomorrow. Just putting some cushions on. She has got some other cushions, but she'd already taken them into my room. So they're in my room. They're not here. And then I put some of her teddies on there. She likes to have a selection of teddies out. She loves this Hulk teddy so much. Um, its hair was folded back for some reason, so I'm just folding it down. Um, she likes that Hulk to protect her at night, she says. So you know what it's like in the dark. Sometimes kids don't like it. Anyways, there we go. Just about to finish making the bed. And that's it for the day. That chicken toy was from a Bring a Book to Life box. So that was really, really good. So there we go. It's hard to straighten the covers on a bed with only one hand. I'm trying my best here. There we go. Anyway. So I had some shopping delivered this morning. Just moving some of the things upstairs. I've put away most of the things in the kitchen. But these bits need to go up here. It's just a few toiletry bits. So I'm just going to take those upstairs with me. I normally would iron on a Sunday. But with it being the holidays, I didn't bother ironing. So I've saved it for today. Toys everywhere. Down here is the rest of my ironing towel that I'm working through. Fantastic. And I made a dart. Discovery. I made a dart toy. So I'm nearly done with the ironing that I wanted to do. You can see I pile it up on the floor just to the side there in front of the ironing board. So I've got our different piles for each different family member. This dress that I'm ironing right now, I just got from Next. But I'm really annoyed because I bought it and paid £21 for it. And then like two days later, three days later, the sale has started and it's been reduced to £9. So... I've massively overpaid for it, but it is what it is. I'm one of these people who, as soon as I've decided I want something, the labels are off, it gets washed, dried, and ironed. So, yeah, unfortunately, it is what it there. is, as they say. We've just had a load of snacks. Devon's done a letter to Banjo Robinson. We've got the nail stuff out. Devon's nails are done with ordinary nail varnish. Woo Mine are going to be done with the gel soon. Toenails done too. I'm doing fingers and toes also, and we're watching a Hallmark movie. We love Hallmark movies. I have wanted to be able to watch Hallmark movies for so long. But obviously, in England, it's not so easy, but Amazon Prime have it. So all I have to do is click on Amazon Prime. Look how dirty the remote control is. Click on Amazon Prime, and then I can watch Hallmark movies. It's the best. So this is where we're going to be for the next hour and 20 minutes, watching a Hallmark movie. Yes. Best chocolates in the world. And I've just spilled red nail varnish on the bedding when I did Devon's nails before. Look at that. Delicious. Where does Grandpa get us these from? Little, I think it is. Highly recommend. Orange ones are even better than cherry. And there's plum ones also. Not having any of their alcohol. <laughs> Here now, a toucan box that arrived. What do you think of that, Dee Dee? Yes. What are we making there? We are making a walrus. A walrus and a gingerbread house. Gingerbread house. I might take some bits out of that. <laughs> Very good. And we got a magnet. Really? Uh huh. How do you know it's a magnet? Because it. It feels cold See out the back. See if it sticks to your darts board, then you'll know if it's a magnet. 
So in the two can box we get some instruction leaflets for the different activities and we get a magazine. Pass that please darling. Magazine for curiously creative kids. Yes, Magna. Oh, very good, darling. Well done, sweetheart. And um, some experiments and all uh -huh. kinds of stuff in there. That looks I'm, great. I'm gonna go and stick that under the Lovely. And then, of course, in each of your packs that you get, you get everything that you could possibly need to make your little activity. Also, there's some paint in there as well. We so, looks extra. fun. <laughs> I'm going to make the Iceberg Bobbing Walrus. <laughs> so, they gave us these colour paints. So, it was always going to be a you know mismatch of colours. So, this is what we've got. And it does this. It bobs up and down. Like, you can't see it. It's all there. I'm going to try and put it to the side. It just doesn't look good on camera. It bobs up and down anyway, and you can see a little bit. It's actually really fun. It's cute, isn't it, dudes? Uh -huh. It's cute, isn't it, Tidy? We love it. So that was fun. So that's one that we made today, the Iceberg Bobby and Walrus from the Toucan Box. I'm in here to start getting ready for bed. One of the first things I'll do is I'll set the grow clock. So if you've had a kid you can say you've had one of these and if you've got a kid and you haven't got one get one they're amazing it basically you can set the time so it's 6 p.m right now and i've just put it on the top one when i pressed it i have two settings i have a weekend setting and a holiday setting which is 7 p.m and i have a weekday school day setting which is 6 30 p.m is this dust no no um so yeah, so because it's the holidays, I've put it on for seven. So that's what time she's allowed to get up in the morning. Devon, your eyes are way too close, kid. She's just playing a little game here on her iPad where she's colouring by numbers, basically. She just did a cupcake one before, which was lovely. And now she's on this one. Is it also a cake? Um, yeah. This is the oh, one Oh, that's that gorgeous. Would you look at that? That's beautiful. See, we play. <laughs> so she's only allowed about 20 minutes. Because I've got bad eyes. Because she has glasses, doesn't she? So mm. we don't want our eyes to tear it by looking at the screen too long. So we've come in here now to wind down for the night. It is five past six. Um, Devon's got her Banjo Robinson letter sorted. Banjo's been in Mexico. If you haven't seen Banjo Robinson, check it out on Instagram. Um, it's really, really good for encouraging your child to write. So she's written this letter to Banjo. And I love you, Banjo. It comes with all the stationery and stickers and everything. And basically, she's going to put that. You're supposed to put it under the sofa. And then Banjo's friend, Buster, who lives near us, comes to collect it and take it to Banjo. Now, this time you said you're not putting it under the sofa, are you not? No. Where are you putting it? I'm putting it... Under Mummy and Daddy's bed? Yeah. So we've let Buster know to come and collect it from our bedroom tonight. And sometimes, what happens when Buster takes the letter? It brings me a surprise. Sometimes he leaves a little present as well, so that would be super cute. But I have said to you, not every week, well, it's every fortnight. You can't expect a present from Buster and Banjo every fortnight, but who knows, you might do this time. So she's going to put that under the bed. Do you want to go do that now, darling? Go put it under now. Um, then we're in here, and one thing that we love to do is our little skincare routine which we try to do every morning and night so i have cleanse and polish you'll see that i've got the liz Earl stuff but after i've done cleanse and polish i will do the instant boost skin tonic so that's your toner and then you can put the moisturizer on i have the skin repair light cream so that's basic isn't it cleanse tone moisturize however da -da 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 -da, i move that down i put some other stuff in between so I'll also put in the eyebrow soothing eye lotion, especially at the moment because my eyes are playing up. Um, that's my husband's phrase, that playing up, my eyes are playing up. Um, I had laser eye surgery about 10, 11 years ago now. So sometimes my eyes can be a bit, my eyelids kind of like get, I don't know, kind of inflamed and stuff. Um, it can be a little bit annoying, but some people think that it's really annoying to me, but it isn't because I just don't want to wear glasses anymore. So I can put up with a bit of uh, 
dodgy eyelids that need cleaning out and stuff. Uh, after I've done that, I will then put on the Super Skin Eye Cream. So I'll put that underneath my eyes. That's my eye bags. And then I also have the Liz Earl Balancing Botanical Drops. <laughs> and then I'll put the moisturiser on. It's driving mad. I'm seeing all these bits of fluff on this. Um, um throw. now you will notice by the way that my nails are plain i was going to do them today but yeah yours are gorgeous darling and yeah your toenails they saw them before baby do you not remember showing them before no but i got a little um skin tag what do you call it a hang nail on the side of my thumb it won't focus there and it's just a bit sore so i thought i'll give that a couple of days that's irritating me that bit of skin right now i'll give it a couple of days to heal and then i will do my nails after that so well, this is my miniature Lizelle and I got two packs so this one and this one and this one. Put the lid back on it please. Which the lid is right here for this one so I need to screw it on. Mummy and me Lizelle. We've also jabbed them with our TP brushes, the easy pick, and like the flossing ones. She's put some lip balm on. You put lip balm on every night, don't you, sweetheart? Yeah, because my lips are very dry and they're mm. picking off right now. Yeah, once she gets really dry lips. So that's that. Then it is story time. So we've got here the Read Write Ink book bag books. You've probably seen them. Um, the sort of uh, reception. And reception year. or just year one and year two? Year one and year two. Year one and year two one. books. So she's going to read that. And then after she's read that story to me, I'm going to read her this one well not all of it just um no, a few pages in it so uh, in the first lockdown to start because she renewed so well with her reading of her um books. other level books okay. that she had we got her the Roald Dahl yeah, collection book. so I just read <laughs> yeah <laughs> darling so I just read her oh it's lights have gone off daddy's home a couple of lights on please baby um so I just read her um a book every so often so we just finished the giraffe the pelly and me recently and now we're going to start george's george's we're going to start george's marvelous medicine so i'll just read a little bit of that to her tonight she's really enjoying the royal doll books i know they were my favorites when i was a kid sort of at primary school so yeah i'll read a bit of that to her um now the lights went off because yeah because my father is home from going to my great grandma's, my mum's at grandma. He just dropped off some shop, some food shopping for it, didn't he? But basically, um, oh, you've gone now, darling. They can't see you. Um, yeah. we've got one of those hives and the sensors. When the door shuts, it turns off the lights. It's because basically, when uh, I go to work in the morning, I have this terrible tendency to leave lights on. So we've got it programmed so when the front door is open and shut, it puts the lights off. Okay. Anyway, it's like quarter to seven so we've got to get on with the reading to get her down for seven seven fifteen at the latest so that's what we're going to do now story time very excited little girl because it seems that buster has been hasn't he already taking your letter for banjo and left this in its place and it's got banjo it's banjo you're right and all my favorite food <coughs> me and everything must show you my favorite come on open it then Anything's inside. I'll put in yeah, I knew you'd put something in it. <laughs> oh, he must have hurt himself. Uh, oh. Mm. <laughs> Very friendly. Cute. We love banjo, don't we? Yeah. 